Hey, hey everybody, it's Paul Lorenz here. I'm just uh, driving on my way to the Chitose Airport from Niseko, and I've just finished the 56th annual Japanese technical competitions. And I really do these competitions because I find it really inspiring um, to see that level of skiing and also to be pushed and put on the spot to perform well. Um, and you know, it's one of the few times in the year that I actually get to ski with such a a high group of skiers um, and I think the interesting thing about the Japanese style is that it's very different to a lot of other countries um, a lot of people don't quite understand it and don't understand the um, the movements and what the objectives of the competition are and I've been doing it now for five years and um, I feel like every year I'm gradually getting to understand a little bit more about what's going on and I thought this year I went in with a different tactic uh, and that was more to just ski what I thought was was good skiing, so high performance, uh, energy in the turns, um, speed obviously, um, good deflection across the hill, and rather than trying to show certain movements that I thought the judges wanted to see, um, this year I had the best result that I've ever had, um, 23rd overall, uh, was got, got quite a high position actually at one point, but then in the moguls had a pretty uh, different run to I guess what they were looking for and didn't score very well, it's lost a lot of points unfortunately but um, yeah it's interesting like I said I think it's a, quite a, maybe a misunderstood style of skiing um, I think ultimately they're really trying to put the skis on uh, edge smoothly and try to use the the bend of the ski to uh, create energy um, as smoothly as possible and you've got to remember that when they're skiing on the snow they're skiing it's very very soft it's um, nothing like any of the other countries I've skied. If you can imagine on a really good powder day in most resorts and then somebody grooming the powder, that's kind of what the snow's like. So you really have to not only have a good understanding of how to edge the ski and balance on the outside and all the stuff that we talk about in, in other countries, but you also need to understand how, how much you can move in on this snow and how much you can uh, brace against the centripetal force in the snow and also then how to soften the legs properly so that you can transition the pressure control movements that the that the Japanese have a uh, very well trained and very uh, they're very experienced in dealing with uncertain snow so um, you know the, some of the the inspiring skiers here this year you know uh, uh, Takuya Yamada I think is absolute master in in pressure control and understanding how to deal with with soft snow but also get a lot of energy out of the turn uh, and acceleration across the hill. I think it's incredible to watch him ski. There's a guy I started to watch uh, when I first did these competitions who was only in, in high school. Uh, his name was Zen Yamanoi and you know he came fourth in this competition this year and he he's a young guy, he's 22 now and he is incredible. Um, you know, not, not only does he have he have a soft and nice touch on the snow, but he he can do it so fast. You know, he's got the fastest feet I think I've ever seen. Um, not just in short turns in the moguls as well. It's incredible. Um, you know, and when you watch him ski down, it's you know it's just yeah amazing to watch that sort of speed and um, and fast feet. So anyway, it's interesting. I think. Um, Everyone should come and have a look at some of these competitions. I know there's a lot of comments on YouTube that the Japanese do everything for a certain style and they have the crazy arms and all that sort of stuff. Um, I think if you watch some of these skiers, uh, particularly the two that I just mentioned there, uh, they're less style, you know, it's less about style. They have a good result on the skis. And I think if you see these guys in action and at the speed that they're going on the snow that they're doing it on, I don't think that you could do it much better. Um, you know, so talking about whether these people can do it on ice or not, I can assure you they can. I skied with uh, a lot of these guys, you know, and obviously my friend Riley skis a lot with um, some of these guys like Taka Mariyama. Uh, a lot of these guys trained in New Zealand. They ski on the glaciers in Europe and they're skiing on ice uh, and getting just as much edge and just as much rebound and deflection. So um, to use the excuse that these guys can do it on soft snow but it doesn't work on ice is just absolutely not true. Um, I encourage anyone that's got a, got their own opinion about their skiing is to come and watch one of these competitions and, and see these people in real life. So, Anyway, that's it for me on the 2019 Japanese 
technical skiing competition. Hopefully uh, get to ski with a lot of these guys and share some more video in, um, in March at Interski in Bulgaria. See you then.